Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans and today I get to share with you my newest sticker book and the newest um, like size boxes to my shop. Today I have black boxes in mini size. This has been requested to make some smaller boxes size for mini planners um, but also there's just lots of fun sizes in here that you can really use in any size planner so I think this one will be so much fun to play around with. Um, but you guys, I'm so stinging excited for this book. So this book will release on July 14th at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on my website, www.mojo-jojoplans.com. So definitely make sure to mark your calendars for that. It'll be $20 plus shipping. International hold order will be an option. And this one has some fun surprises that the other sizes have not gotten because of size. Um, with mini, it meant I had a lot more room to do more things in it. Uh, so we really took advantage of that with this book and I'm really excited to show you. And then I also pulled out um, some mini planners. That way I could show you kind of how they fit um, in a planner because in the black box version, there's also a rainbow boxes version um, that is also releasing with this book as well. But in the black boxes version, this caters to three different um, size layouts for the mini, just this book alone. Uh, so I'm really excited. So um, you can see it has like the smaller lines in comparison to the regular um, black boxes, you know, which has, you know, the medium so this just just for fun this is just what it looks like so you have the whole black boxes line um but i just think that looks really fun <laughs> um but anyway so let's take a look at this book 967 stickers in here i think og black boxes had 532 um so yeah but obviously the stickers in here are going to be teeny tiny so we'll flip through the whole thing first and then at the end i will go in and show you what each looks like that way you can kind of see what those stickers are for or maybe we'll do it while we're going i don't know we'll see um 967 stickers in it so opening it up we have our teeny tiny like quarter box inspired stickers these ones are teeny you guys so um i think this is yes this is a vertical so just for for size for sizing Okay, so you have your vertical and then they go in just like so, which I stuck that in so crooked. Not okay with that. <laughs> I'm like, that's going to bother me. It's crooked. Okay, so in your mini, so you have your teeny tiny. These would be great for like appointment stickers, um, appointments, whatever kind of thing that you're needing for that. And then we get a little bit bigger little bit so these this one's a great book too if you like to write small um but this will also probably force you to write small so there's going to be two pages of that size and then there are all the way down then we go a little bit bigger and then you have some of those small like teeny tiny quarter boxes down at the bottom you get two pages of those i believe okay then we have our squares getting just a little bit bigger and again like I said like these are size for the mini but how fun would these be to just put in your smaller appointments in your regular size planners you know so it'd be great for that so you get a page of those then there are some monthly sized stickers in here so if you turn to like your monthly page in your mini gonna turn it here you'll see these ones the way they're cut out so there's a couple you're getting a couple that don't have the notch cut out for you um so if you don't care about the notch you know or maybe you're not doing it in an undated or a dated planner whatever then there's some squares down at the bottom but if you're doing it in a dated planner that little notch is cut out for you and then you can stick it right in your mini would you look at that and then you also get another little sticker that you can use as a bullet point so like you can use this over on the side sorry I can't lay this down straight without tweezers but I don't know where they are um, but you can lay that down and you can use that as a bullet point so you're getting like two stickers in one with that which is pretty dang cool 
people are getting some monthly size stickers. Again, because, you know, I could fit so many on a page, it made more sense to add some more sizes for this one um, because with many, I was just able to fit a lot more. So that was pretty exciting. So you're getting two pages of those monthly boxes. Again, there is a row without the notch. So if you don't care about the notch, and then there's a row of some more of the square boxes. Then we are getting our vertical full boxes. So I'm going to go back to my full box size. That way I can show you these size to fit in your vertical box in your mini. Or again, you can use them sideways, use them whatever way you're wanting. It does have a row down at the bottom that has the light gray lines and then there's some more squares down at the bottom. And this is why there's only one page of the squares because I was able to fit squares on most of these pages. So you're basically getting another full page of squares basically when you, know, you add them up with all the other pages they're on. So you get two pages of those full boxes. And then we get a page of our double long. So these ones are double long to go over two of the vertical boxes. You get a couple more of those monthly box size without the notch cut in them. So you get two, two pages of those. Then you also get a third size where these ones will go all the way down. Okay, so these ones are sized to fit. You can either put them in the sidebar area or you can put them over your boxes here, which if I could stop shaking, I could show you better. Or you could put them over the boxes, over three boxes. So, you know, whatever you're thinking for that. So you get two pages of those. And then again, you're getting some more of the, just like the full size single boxes with the gray lines. And then you're getting some more of those like monthly boxes without the notch cut out. So you get two pages, was that two? Three pages. Three pages of those like super long ones. Okay, all right, now we're going into a little bit different. Um, so these ones are your double wide, I think. Pretty sure I did double wide. It's one of those things where I'm like, did I do that? I don't remember. Um, yes, okay, so that's for your double wide. So it goes over two boxes um, sideways. And then we're starting to get into some other just like fun sizes. So I'm gonna actually pull out a dashboard layout. Um, and then that way I can show you dashboard layout as well. But then we have a size that'll fit nicely in my dashboard layout right there okay so that's another new size so this one has tons of sizes in it and there's a couple that have the lines so you're going to get a couple pages of those and again there's some more squares down at the bottom it looks like we're getting three of those pages okay and then we go into some horizontal so I'm actually going to grab my current planner because this is the only one that I have that's horizontal um Maybe we'll show you, I'll show you in the notes. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna do a spread in here later. Um, <laughs> but just like the monthly boxes, you guys, I couldn't let like empty space just like be unused. So I'm gonna pull this out. It has the notch cut out for you. So you could still see the date. I'm gonna use it down on this notes one because I literally don't have any other horizontal planners. I don't know how that happened, but I'm gonna show you this way. So that does fit. And then that way it won't cover up your dates if you don't want it to. And then you get another little sticker, little teeny. These ones are a different size um, than these like quarter boxes. So it's just like another new size. But once again, like I couldn't just like leave you guys hanging with, you know, some random hole. Like, like you like literally could use that whole spot and so I gave you two stickers <laughs> right there um and then we have these fun long ones which again will fit great in your mini if you wanted to like do a header or you could even just use them um you know in your classic size or whatever that might be so you literally can use those anywhere and then there's also some bigger squares that can be used again in your horizontal I think these are sized more to like fit yeah their size a little bit better to fit in that horizontal size okie dokie so i got you so so far we have mini 
we have um, mini vertical, horizontal, and then we also have dashboard. So, and we're not even all the way through the book yet. So you're gonna get a couple pages of those horizontal mini stickers. And then again, you're getting that extra little size in there because I could not waste that space. Some of them do have the lines. All right, and then you're also getting those horizontal boxes without the notch cut in them. So maybe you don't use a horizontal mini. These ones are gonna be great for you because you can also just use them anywhere else as well. But also if you're using your mini horizontal and maybe it's undated and you're okay with covering out that or you need to redate it anyway, these ones would be good to kind of help cover that up. So you're gonna get a couple pages of the blank. Okay, you're gonna get a page of some more of those like longer skinny header looking ones and then some more of those bigger squares. This one's just a random size because once again, I don't like leaving empty spaces. <laughs> Actually, I think this one might be one of the monthly sizes just turned sideways. All right, and then we get another size. So going back to our dashboard layout, we're getting some dashboard cut stickers. I'm so excited, you guys, because like finally we're getting some other sizes. All right, so you have your dashboard boxes. And then once again, because I can't just like leave you guys hanging, you do get a little teeny tiny one. Now, obviously I realize these are tiny. These ones might be better to like write a time in it, like write what time you have to be somewhere. Um, but because I realize that's teeny tiny. But look how cute that is. Like I know there are some people that like to write tiny. I have some friends that like write like you need a magnifying glass to see their handwriting. So I know it's possible. Um, but there we go. So dashboard layout stickers in here as well. So you get a couple pages of those. And again, they have the notches cut out for you. You can even keep it as a whole. Maybe you don't use a dashboard, um, but you could like keep this all together. And then you can write like maybe a header in there and then put your to do's. I don't know. There you go. So that is the new mini black boxes sticker book. I know that was a different um, kind of flip through, but I did really want to show you the new sizes that are in there. So we have sizes for the dashboard. We have lots of sizes and then even smaller, you know, from this small and then they go up a little bit bigger. I didn't put them all in here, but for our vertical and then we have stickers that cater to the horizontal. So a little bit of everything in this book, but I'm so stinking excited to bring that to you and I'm excited to bring some of these other sizes um, in different sizes um, if we have interest for that. Like if we want these in classic size and big size, then let me know so I can gauge the interest because, you know, I don't know. Um, but there we go. That is the new Black Boxes mini sticker book. I am super, super excited for this book. Um, and again, it'll just be like a great addition. And if you just want other fun sizes to play with, this is going to be a really fun book um, to play around with. So again, it releases this Friday, July 14th at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on my website, www.mojo-jojoplans.com, $20 plus shipping. Um, also releasing is the Rainbow Vertical Mini Sticker Book. Um, and then pre-orders have already happened for this one, so there won't be a patron pre-order prior to this because it already happened. Um, but I think that's it. International hold order will also be available. I'll have all the other details down in the description below. Make sure to set your alarm clocks. I'm excited for this one. Let me know what you guys think. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!